Well, we are glad you're watching 7 News Live at 5 on this Friday. Hallelujah, it's here. And <laughs> in another Carolina city, we head to our hometown spotlight. It's our series that we bring you every Friday. Indeed it is. This week's 7 News reporter Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan Goodman, take us to Tryon. Early in the day, the streets, like the sky, aren't crowded in the hills of Tryon, North Carolina. The locals are busy. That's why we're the friendliest town in the South. Filling up. The sign says. After nearly 20 years of running this coffee shop downtown, Bill Ingham says he wanted to retire, but his customers couldn't let it close. Well, most of them are volunteers. Hence the coffee co-op. Friends of customers, you know, their daughters are uh, of customers, and they just come in and work. And Get paid by tips. You can find homegrown help down the road at Harmon Field, too. I fed me and my fa uh, our family with what we grow. Vendors with crops just miles from where they meet their customers. By the end of the season, Rose will have over a hundred different varieties here. Make for happy families and full cupboards. <laughs> I don't. I'm supposed to be retired. I'm just tired now. <laughs> Trade Street chefs and sellers take advantage of the fresh goods, too. They're spread out between collectible bookstores, a museum, F. Scott Fitzgerald's old hangout, and social activist and soul singer Nina Simone's home base. Well, the tradition. Julia Calhoun and, uh, works on a craft brought to Try on by Biltmore Industries. I'm painting a set. It's the the circus set. Making toys like Morris, Tryon's mascot, right at the center of town. He's a symbol of the equestrian community Tryon's known for. Getting to ride them every day. <laughs> Doesn't feel like work. The tenants at Mary Dell Farm have beauty and talent that may look effortless, but trainers Kate and Caitlin work with them here nearly year round. And the goal of our sport is to make it look like you're not telling them anything at all. In an area where many of your neighbors have the same passion and work slowly turns into way of life. That is certainly so far served to be true. <laughs> In Tryon, Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. Don't you feel like you learn something about these places every time we do these stories? It's yeah, like, like Morris the horse. I didn't know his name. <laughs> See, there you go. Uh, uh, Tryon you go. Will, will host two brand new festivals in the next two weekends. Rhythm and Wine starts tomorrow. It allows you to sample, even take home some local wine and beer. Also coming up next Saturday is Afro Fest. It celebrates Afro-American culture, music, and food. And you can get ticket information just heading to our website, WSPA.com.